Hi, George Bruno here with you, also known as the Sultan of Silver. And I want to share with you how to use a hat jack. First, I'm puffing on a little bit of Aaron Moore Flake, which I really like. It's Virginia Burley blend. And I'm having a little bit of Don Julio in the square shot glass. It's magnificent. It really is. Those who watch these, you must think all I do is like smoke and drink all day. That's not the truth. <laughs> I do it for these videos. And if I'm not doing a video, I might, I probably puff on a pipe or a cigar two to three times a week. I'm not really a daily puffer. Although, um, if I was less busy, I probably would. And it really is a relaxing thing for me. So, pardon me one second. Trusty corn cob. Honest to God, five, six, seven bucks. It's a red cob, and it's the most <laughs> reliable thing. You get all these, you get like pipe smoking snobs that argue over briar and bits and nylon versus uh, what's vulcanite and all this stuff. And I just, you know what? A corn cob solves all your problems. And you look cool, too. So let me show you. The hat that I have on now, it's a, a canvas driving cap. Pretty simple cap. This used to be really, really tight on me. Um, it belonged to my son. Actually, I, I bought it for my son. His head was smaller than mine. So I put a hat jack in it yesterday. And it fits now. I don't know if you can see. I mean, it is not snug at all. It, it's quite loose, feels good. And now that the weather is turning, it's I'm outside, the crickets are chirping, but it's I'm not sweating, I'm not sitting out here sweating. So I kind of put aside some of the straw hats, the paper hats, and I get out the tweed hats and the canvas hats and that kind of thing. So that's what I do when the weather starts turning and just like clockwork, man, right after Labor Day for us, beginning of September. This is a hat jack. There's a little, a bit of a, I guess you would call it like a turnbuckle. And what it does, it expands or brings in uh, these half moon shaped cedar pieces of wood. I bought it on eBay, maybe, I don't know, about $12. Now, many times fabric hats do shrink. One of my favorite caps of all time is this uh, Harris Tweed. Let me move this back. All right. It's a uh, it's a it's a, a roadster cap, a driving cap. I like it. It's good in the fall. Keeps your noggin warm, and it looks kind of cool too. I like it. Although I have a tendency to like higher hats every now and then I pull these out. But as soon as the weather turned, I wanted this again. So now to put this on, it's just not fit. It's fitting on the top of my head, but now notice the fit there compared to this. That's how it should fit. So it shrinks. So I'm going to show you how to make it larger. This did not fit me yesterday at all. Did not fit me. So I'll take a spray bottle. And what I'll do is I'll spray the band inside the hat. It's 100% wool. I'm spraying the band. I'm even taking the band and flipping it outwards a little bit. To spray some of the, <clears throat> the fabric underneath. Okay, now it's, it's damp, it's not soaking wet. I can't wring the water out of it. So I take the hat jack, I close it up a little bit, just bring it to, let me see. All right, so it'll fit 
inside the hat. Let me see if I can do this so you can see what I'm doing. Ah, now I need to bring it in a little bit more. I, I don't want to distort the shape of the hat, so I just keep it inside the band. So I adjust it because because these kind of rock a little bit, I'm gonna, let's see, okay. I want it to be even, so I'm gonna push that up a little bit. There you go. So now it's really like the first inch, what's being affected is the first inch all the way around, and it's stretching without distorting the shape of the hat. So here it is, the hat jack. There we go. You might have seen these before. Now I'm going to tighten it or expand it. And as I'm expanding it, the hat's getting taut. It's stretching as we speak. Now I got to kind of manhandle it. And see what's happening here? It's, it's spreading this way and this way. So it's stretching this and this. So now, let's see, there we go. It has expanded the hat. So what I'll do is, now that the fabric is even a little bit wet, it makes the fabric uh, stretch a little bit more. Let me see if I can get this. It just came out. As you know, we do things with one take here. <laughs> We're not looking for there's no one saying, cut, take two. Nobody does that with my videos. Darn, I wish they would, right? No. I lived in the world where we would take sometimes 25 takes. I'll never forget the one line that I had. Once I compared the Kia Optima to other cars in its class, there simply was no comparison. More car, less money, forget what the last phrase was. Makes sense to me. And I remember the director saying, okay, cut, take two, try it again, put a little more enthusiasm in it. And I was like, once I compared the Kia Optima to other cars in its class, there simply was no comparison. Uh, all right, why don't you just slow it down a little bit, be a little bit more expressive. Take three, action. Once I compared the Kia Optima to other cars in its class, there simply was no comparison. And I probably did that 25 times, and then the commercial came on, so... We don't do takes. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, it's stretched tomorrow when I take the hat jack out. It's going to fit just like this. And I do that almost every season, because after a, almost a year, nine months of not wearing a hat, especially if it's fabric, especially if it's wool or cotton, something that shrinks. Um, it does have a tendency to just like sit on top of your head. I like my hats to kind of come down right above my ears like that. I want them to freely move a little bit. Uh, and then when I wear like a driving cap, I always kind of like cock it just a little bit over my left eye like that. And that's kind of like how I wear it. So, And when you have a beard, as you know, when you have a beard, you can pull off any kind of hat. So do you have a hat that doesn't quite fit, or you saw a hat in a thrift store that might be one size too small, but darn it, it only costs like four dollars? Hat Jack, do not fear small hats anymore when you have a hat jack. And if you call in the next ten minutes, we'll throw in a second hat jack. But wait, there's more! And if you call in the next twenty minutes, we'll throw... I was in that world for a while. It was fun. There you go. That's a hat check. Hope that helps for you hat-wearing guys. If you're not into hats, I would encourage... Oh, there's a little raccoon here. 
coming out in the deck for me. Hi there. Hi, sweetie. How are you? You want to see him? Look at him. Can you see him? There he is. Hi, baby. That's, that's a mama raccoon. I could see she might be nursing, too, because she's, uh, it looks like she's filled with milk uh, in the bottom. So anyways, it's so funny. I'll have the possums come up, the raccoons, and then the skunks will come up as well as the cats. But uh, I love watching the raccoons because they eat with their hands. It's kind of fun. Anyways. Oh, I'm on raccoon watch right now. All right, thanks for watching. I really hope that helps. Take care. Bye.